You know I have a pinched nerve issue. You know I have a back issue, right? Who is the champion who came up with this idea? You did! Going in. Hey, Sheldon, it's not bad, lah. Come in, come in. Right. Not bad. Okay, lah, let's get going. Right. Hey. And demonetized. Cento in Italian means 500. The spiritual predecessor of this car has its roots dating back to 1957. A model run that saw that generation of Fiat Cinquecento of 500 being produced until 1975. In 2007, the generation of modern 500s came into being, with updates along the way. Although appearing rather diminutive on the outside, the Fiat 500 is surprisingly spacious on the inside. While no one is going to mistake it for a luxury limousine, kudos to Fiat's designers and engineers for building this city car with an interior that's as practical as it is beautiful. In order to truly get to grips with the Fiat 500, we need to set ourselves a series of challenges. In order to truly get to grips with the Fiat 500, we need to set ourselves a series of challenges. Whoa, whoa, why are you being redundant? They've always been covered in the view. Let's start with challenge number one, the acceleration challenge. While it may seem juvenile on its face, there's a real world purpose to the first part of the acceleration challenge. To see how smartly the Fiat 500 can move off from a standstill to 60 kilometers an hour. This is a test of... Power! The Fiat 500 is propelled by an engine that's less than one liter in capacity. Take over by a teeny tiny little turbo. <laughs> so what's your Elma fun? Top spin, maximum wall, engage. Considering two of us petite lightweights in the car. Let's proceed to part two of the acceleration challenge, the merging on the highway test. And now, from a roll, we will accelerate to 90 km an hour. This time, it's a test of. What? You can see it now. Power! You just give yourself a wedge. Small engine, daddy. Here we go. Also pretty much dancing on top of the bonnet. While mostly adequate, the Fiat 500's performance is not going to set anyone's pants on fire. The two-cylinder 875cc twin-air turbo engine with 84 horsepower and 145 newton meters of torque tries hard but runs out of ideas north of 5500 rpm. Progress is mildly impressive from a stop and just about adequate up to highway speeds where the Fiat 500 can sit all day long, even making its way up to triple digits for overtaking maneuvers. Making its way uphill around the twisties, the Fiat 500 just about does what it needs to in a pretty vocal way. Engine noise from inside the cabin is relatively well isolated However, it's a different story on the outside and made our cameraman laugh at how raucous it can be up a steep hill in first gear. <laughs> Speaking of gears, the five-speed single-clutch automated manual gearbox brings back memories from Alfa Romeo's Celeste speed days back in the early 2000s. 
Forget fast takeoffs from a standstill unless you enjoy the car shuddering alarmingly. Instead, roll onto the accelerator gradually and smoothly, and the Fiat 500 will move off from a stop pretty smartly. Right, your turn. Hmm, interesting. Hey, we need someone to test the back seats. Can you call John? Sure. Hey, John. Yep. Uh, we're going to need someone to uh, test the back seat of the uh, car we're driving now. Uh, you doing anything? No. Okay. Uh, hey, heard you also have an expert car tester friend, right? Could you ask your friend to join you? Then uh, we'll meet you uh, at Turf City. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. No we are on our way. Then we are on our way. We'll see you there in about half an hour. Uh, yeah, okay. 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 All right. See you there. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Wow. What the? Okay, this is going to be interesting. What the? What? I... Okay... What? Hey! How's this going to work? Yes? What the heck is this? What's... My car testing friend. Human testers, not... Not this! What's wrong? Why are you, dis why are you discriminating against koalas? Okay, fine, fine. Go, okay, go, 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 go. You wanted a car tester? Go, 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 go. Okay, actually, not... It's not bad, bad. It's not, you know, it's, it's usable, I guess. Get him in the back. It's so efficient. Wait. Nope. Nope. He's, he's a swell guy, but it's that a... mostly goes for his head. Alright. Don't forget the seatbelt first, you know. Oh, Safety yes. first, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what, what do you do? What do, you do? Uh, oh. Please don't put me in the back. You get in the back. I was just kidding. But... Uh, well, we got you to test the back seat, so, you know, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Well. You oh, right This is actual torture. Okay. Look, I'm compromising. Uh. Comfy? No, not particularly. I guess that uh... like, That's part one I failed. I don't know if you can tell, but right now mm. I'm kind of structurally integral to the car. Oh, so you're ready to do the comfort challenge? No! Let's go! <laughs> I can barely see out the rear view mirror now. Well, the wood here is barely right, so you still can see, so yeah. You know why? Because koala bear. Oh, you know koalas aren't even bears. Hmm. I, I don't know, like, flipping might be a bit of a, might be a bit generous. Okay, well, we are in the car. We managed to close the doors and we are moving, so that's a victory okay. for me, yeah. It is a victory, but I'm still a bit irritated that he brought a non-human tester. So we need to specify? Did I have to? I'm a bit uh, relieved actually, because uh, I don't... Yeah. I think Big Boost is a bit more accommodating than uh, yeah, do you, do a human hear, tester. Do you hear him complaining? Nope. Especially yeah. while sitting behind me, which is a major thing. Yeah. Like, that's your, with you and your unique body structure and your skin position is like... No space behind you at all. So it's a good thing that you know it's a non-human tester behind you because I think anyone taller than 1.4 meters would struggle to sit behind you. Especially in a Fiat 500. Yeah, in most cars, but yeah, particularly in this. Yep. Hey, but you can sit behind Sheldon now. That that is surprising. That is quite surprising. Yes. And how much, how comfortable or otherwise are you? Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> I can't say I'm very comfortable, but 
uh, my knees still have about an inch away from the glove box. Okay. Yeah, um, so okay. Yeah, my, my, my knees are just crushing your bags. Okay. Uh, the soft devil is fine, and surprisingly, I've got like a lot of uh, food room. Oh, okay. So that makes all the difference. Actually. Yeah, that helps a lot. Yeah, leg room, so. Um, shoulder room, on the other hand. Uh huh. Yeah. That's snug. All right. Let's go back in for the final thoughts. Let's wrap this up. Well. So Sheldon, that was a very interesting experience, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I guess you could say interesting is the word. Yeah, yeah. So who do you think this car is for? Um... I think it's got to be someone who really, really is in love with the style, with the cuteness, with the design of the car. It is a very stylish car, I'll give you that. But they, they have to like it so much in the same way that, you know, some ladies don't mind walking around in high heels that hurt their feet all day long just because it, it looks good, right? So this is in that way, you, you, you're, you're buying this car over a style and uh, you're not going to um, mind the, the noise not mind the, the clatter of the engine and the gearbox and the roughness of the gear change and that kind of thing. So, in other words, I think you have to be passionate about it because you, you to be passionate means you throw logic out the window and not care about you know whatever else is going on in the background. Right. So uh, yeah. So so I guess in that sense, this is a cool car because it makes you really question how much do you really like it. That's right. right? It's a cool car that makes you stand out, and you really have to be willing to live with the idiosyncrasies of the car. Just because it's not my car, doesn't mean that I don't, you know. Yeah, That's I true. Like it, yeah. So what would it take for you to get into a car like this? Leave a comment below. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. See you all in the next one. Guys, get me out please.